Hello. Not many days left now until Christmas. At about this time of year, me and Molly would make a Christmas special. We did it last year, and we did it the year before. But we won't be doing it this year. Because unfortunately, three months ago, Molly passed away. And she's never far from my thoughts. Um, but what I want to do in this video, I just want to talk to people out there who have perhaps lost pets, maybe recently, maybe not so recently, and how it affects us, and how it affects you. And every day we look in the old familiar places, don't we? The old familiar places that your pet loved. Under the table, behind the settee, lying across the door threshold. And I know that in summer, when I get back out into the garden, I'll be looking in those places where Molly used to lie. In the sun, out of the sun. That was Molly's choice. Um, but I'm fortunate, I've got quite a lot of video footage that includes me and Molly. And we did have some great times together. And I know you have probably had great times with a pet that you've lost. Um, and so it's hard. And I know when I get out again in the summer months, as well as the places in the garden that Molly loved. I'll stand by the lake that we used to stand by together. I'll stand next to the rivers that Molly used to swim in. I'll walk past Molly's favourite rock pool that she loved. be on the seashore, I'll visit all those places. And those memories will flood back. And though there are sad memories, hopefully the happy memories will overpower the sad memories. And so what I want to do in this video, I'm going to pop up a couple of clips of videos from years past and then I'm going to add a couple of cards at the end of this video and also some links in the text below that will allow you to watch uh, two previous videos that me and Molly made at Christmas time. Last year we had some visitors. Uh, we had Fern, Tess and Dotty. Fern, Tess and Dotty. they visited and they're in this video. Check this one out. And the year previous it was just me and Molly. Check this one out. Okay now I've looked through um, a number of videos uh, to see if I could find anything appropriate to dovetail into this video and I actually came across a short clip um, of Molly behind a glass door. She's in one room, I'm in the other room. She's on one side of the glass door, I'm on the other side of the glass door. Check this out.
what I noticed was that through the glass door, Molly never took her eyes off me. She watched my every move. Now when I watched that short clip of video, um, it made me realise that at that particular point in time, although Molly could see me and I could see Molly, couldn't touch one another. She was on one side of the glass door, I was on the other. And that's how it is now in life and death. I can see Molly, I'll see her right now. I can't touch her. But what I did do in that video was I opened the door. And then when I opened the door, we're back together again.